Hello, this is BSJ, and this video will help you know how to itemize Tiny, whether you're ahead, whether you're behind, and what you should look for that makes the hero most effective, whether it's tower sieging, whether it's fighting, and uh, what priorities you need to focus on when you're choosing your items. I think on carry Tiny, the Ags is 100% purchased. Like, there's just no question. It's an item that gives him tankiness. It gives him farm potential. It makes his toss do more damage. It makes hit towers harder. It just overall, it's basically like a battle fury for a hero that gives stats. So, um, I don't think there's ever reason to not get ag or Ags on the hero. So the main question to ask yourself is how much do I have to delay this Ags, and like, how what am I going to do to build up to it? Um, the main reason that people miss out a lot on the main on the early game with mini heroes is because they don't understand exactly what fully makes it efficient to farm with a hero. So on Tiny, um, I 100% think that treads are necessary. I know phase kind of makes sense and some people just leave brown boots. Um, but treads, um, when you do tread switch, give you the effective mana, co mana of a drum, like when you turn them to Ent. Um, it allows you to use your combo a lot more effectively and for farming and for killing people. And uh, then I eventually go into a wand as well, just because for a hero that has such a small mana pool, as you see, he has 300. So uh, full wand charges will basically give you all of your mana back if you do have them. Um, but yet he's so reliant on having mana to be effective. So I think that any hero like that, um, which is a lot of strength carries and some agi carries, it's generally very important to have a wand. And then... Um, also, like a lot of people underestimate how strong Quelling Blade is on a hero like Tiny. Um, I'm not buying Quelling Blade because I have no idea how to last hit. It's not for like helping myself in lane. It's for hitting jungle creeps and pushing waves as well. Uh, Tiny's ult is base damage, as you see. He's it's all of his damage is white damage. It, his when it shows his 142 damage, like it's not like. Uh, other heroes that get bonus damage and it turns it like it wouldn't say it's not as it doesn't say 92 plus 50 it gives him 92 and then it gives him 50 base damage and quelling blade is 100 percent based on base damage so if you buy a quelling blade and i do 142 damage that quelling blade effectively gives me about 60 damage um for 200 gold when it comes to farming speed so i uh highly uh, believe that on Tiny it's a very important item for the early game and even once you get your Ags uh, it just speeds up your farm so significantly um, so the main question you ask yourself is like I'm buying an Ags what do I have to do to buy before it uh, generally it's uh, been recommended that you buy Blink because Blink just gives him the team fight potential um, and initiation that the hero just really needs uh, it allows him to Blink combo somebody at any point it not only does it allow him to do that but for at the higher level it presents a threat to people so like if you're off the map farming you're even present you're even doing a lot to apply pressure because if they don't know where you are you're like you're a threat to burst down any support or even most cores in the early game um so buying a blink generally just applies a lot of pressure and actually opens up the map for you uh, so I generally look to buy a blink. I, I either go bracer or drums. I think that just giving him that extra tankiness in the early game um, really helps him out. Uh, the decision between that really ask yourself like you know drums can help you farm a little bit and it delays your blink. So um, it's pretty much asking yourself like am I in a super rush to get this blink? Do I need to apply pressure um, in this particular game? I believe that Tiny is a very good counter to Slark because of his passive and Slark gets constantly disabled by it. So I think Tiny is a better late game hero. So I'm not any, I'm not in a major rush to apply pressure. So I decided to go for drums because overall it does speed up my farm um, more, giving me more mana pool and attack speed. So that's what I prioritized was myself because if they had something like an anti mage, I would have been more. Um, inclined to go for an early blink such that um, I could start pressuring him earlier and because I'd worry about him out carrying me. The reason why I would first buy a blink is because I believe that the enemy carry will out carry me if he gets the same amount of farm or more or it can even farm faster than me so, so I mentioned somebody like anti-mage even something like PL, something that could um, that is relatively weak early on that I am stronger than and that I know that if I pressure them and out farm them that way um, That even if I get slightly less farm that as long as I'm out farming them will win the game um, That's when I generally look to buy a blink It's not even as much about killing them as the fact that like if you go on their side of the map and 
use your blink to get one kill and take their safe lane tower, you're able to like apply a certain amount of pressure that um, hinders their farm and uh, doesn't hinder yours. So um, it's basically when you're looking to pressure the enemy carry early on or your team lacks initiation. Like I generally, generally in this meta, you'll have initiation on your team, but um, the if your team does lack initiation, earlier blinks are better because they allow your team to have some sort of initiation as well. I almost always go Ags right after the Blink Dagger. I think that it's basically his farming item and fighting item as well. Like it allows him to siege towers. Um, but so generally, if I'm if I'm not going Ags, it would be only because I feel like we're behind and I need a BKB to even fight the enemy team. Uh, I think that's really the only reasonable alternative. So I will always choose to go Ags. Okay, well, basically 95% of the time I'll go Ags, and if we're getting crushed, I'll go BKB. Generally, once you get your ags, um, the question you need to ask yourself is like, what do I need right now? Uh, or if we, if you take a Roche and like you need, you have a second life, then the important thing that to acknowledge is that while you are kind of squishy, like I said, it's not because you have low health pool or anything. It's because you generally can get kited. But what happens is if you have a Aegis, is that you'll get a lot of like they have to blow a lot of abilities to kill you once because you have a lot of health. Um, so generally, instead of worrying about getting a BKB, I'll worry about just making myself a little bit tankier, like with an Assault Cuirass to help us siege towers and turn myself into a tower sieger. But like if I'm looking for a game where we're kind of on the back end and I'm looking to where our main objective is not pushing, but instead fighting, then I'll look more towards a BKB because otherwise the hero is just so susceptible to getting kited and stunned. So I think that BKB is one of those... Um, that it doesn't really help the hero's kit at all, it doesn't give him any mana, it doesn't give him any mobility, but it's kind of like a necessary evil, like if you need to buy it, then you just have to buy it, and when you know you need to buy it, is if you think, if I blink in and stun somebody and get disabled once, am I going to get blown up from full to zero? Um, and a lot of lineups nowadays with like Earthshakers and Lena's and Queen of Pains, um, that's a pretty common thing. The major damage item for the hero, um, I believe, is Daedalus. Just, uh, you know, synergizes with his ult, giving him base damage. So if you get a Daedalus, you'll crit for like a thousand um, with just that as a damage item. But uh, generally speaking, uh, Satanic can be pretty good on him in the super late game once he has his damages, damage up. Other than that, like MKB, if they have a lot of evasion, the hero relies on right clicking heavily. So um, if they have like Solar Crests, if they have um, Butterflies, uh, MKB is technically better than Daedalus. Other than that, like, he doesn't, you don't want small items on the hero. You don't want stuff like Sanj and Yasha, stuff like um, mid game items that other, a lot of other carries buy. You want to get the Ags and then go for like major tier four items. Uh, you don't want to stop for the small things because um, you farm so fast and you fill up your item slots so quickly that you want to make sure that you're utilizing the maximum efficiency out of your slots. If you have a blink, you have a drums, you have an ag, you already filled up three slots plus boots. So you're sitting on four slots and assuming those aren't travels and you want to teleport scroll, um, you now have one spot left in the mid game. So you're kind of light on slots. Uh, so to go, you want to go for bigger items. A uh, heart is generally best um, after you already have something like an AC, um, unless it's kind of like the replacement for AC if they have very little physical damage. If they're all magical damage, like they have a Storm Quap Core, um, then obviously Heart is generally just better. It's a lot better for just sieging in general because the hero has no natural regen mechanic, you know, like most other heroes have. Uh, so he generally, like, using your heart to um, hit the tower, get a little bit damage done to you, and then back off and re reload um, is the purpose of heart. So if you ask yourself, do I do we need a base siege? Do I need um, something to help me be tankier in order just to hit a tower? Uh, that's generally when a heart is the best item. Um, but otherwise, stuff like a soul cuirass and Daedalus and BKB are the items you generally want to look to get. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you feel like you did, you can check out my stream on twitch.tv slash banana slam jamma and check out my other guides on Game Leap.